California's deadly and devastating wildfires. They fear possible worsening winds there this weekend. Dangerous conditions expected through Sunday. Winds up to 50 miles an hour. And look at this tonight. Smoke 75 miles away in San Francisco. People wearing masks. Schools closed today. ABC's Lindsay Janice in Santa Rosa again tonight amid new stories. One couple surviving in their neighbor's pool. The fire all around them. Tonight, firefighters keeping up the battle to save homes amid the deadliest week in California fire history. The enormity of this disaster we're only beginning to understand. Harrowing stories of the victims now emerging. The Shepherd family's car catching fire as they fled the flames. 14-year-old Kai didn't make it. The rest of the family badly burned. The fires now larger than New York City. This is how so much of the battle against these fires is being fought by hand. Firefighters spraying and raking the ground, putting out hot spots. More than 5,700 structures destroyed. In Sonoma, a team of firefighters saving several homes in just a few hours. We were just literally running from house to house. It's super smoky, it's super hot. You really can't see very well. Tonight, with hundreds of people still missing, we're learning incredible stories of survival. She said, you gotta get out of that house. Jan and John Pasco say their daughter called to alert them to the fire. I looked out my window and there was a wall of flame out my window. So that's how fast it happened for us. We had no warning. Their only option? Their neighbor's pool, holding each other in the water. And countless family pets rescued too. The Sonoma County Humane Society treating cats with burned paws. Doing hard work there to help save the animals. And that story of the pool is just something, Lindsay. Lindsay Janice back with us from Santa Rosa tonight. And Lindsay, you were telling us they're now estimating the damage to housing alone there at more than a billion dollars already. That's right, David. At least 5% of the housing here in Santa Rosa totally wiped out. The damage estimates, more than $1.2 billion. And you can see just how quickly people fled. These three wheelchairs left charred and mangled right outside this house. David? All right. Lindsay Janice, excellent reporting for us all week. Let's get right to Rob because there are red flag warnings back up in Northern California. And you were saying concern in Southern California this weekend, too. Yeah, David, it's shaping up to be a statewide event. You saw Lindsay's shot not blowing there yet, but shortly after midnight, we're looking enough for the winds to really crank up. Red flag warnings, there they are. We started off in NorCal where the winds will reach critical fire criteria after midnight. By tomorrow morning, we're talking about Los Angeles and Ventura counties. Winds will be ripping there. The higher elevations could gush to 50 miles an hour. These are dry Santa Ana winds, dropping humidity levels to below 10%. Those are dangerous levels right through the weekend. We'll be watching you, Rob. Finally tonight here, our Persons of the Week. They are California strong. Tonight, the heroes and the bravery in California. Vicki Walker hugging this firefighter to say thank you. Firefighters across California saving lives, homes, and so many family treasures. In this image, the mail truck still stopping at mailboxes. A haunting moment, but still a moment of dedication. The Sonoma County Sheriff Rob Giordano, who told me about one deputy who saved families standing with them on a dirt patch, the fire all around them. We had a deputy on top of Mark West who had 40 people with him and they couldn't get out, and the fire just burned around him and they just sheltered in place as it went around. They were them. surrounded by the fire. Yep. Then there was the iron worker who lost everything, his tools, his pickup truck, his home. Every house was, was on fire, including mine. Dana Hansen's story was on the local news that night, and someone 50 miles away was watching. I heard iron worker, and I looked over, and I caught his last name. Her son was also an iron worker. She lost him to cancer two years ago. She had always saved her son's tools, and she called up Dana and said, come get them. Dana? Yes. How are you? Okay. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Inside, her son's tools given to Dana. Means a lot to me. Well, I'm, I'm, I only get you back to work. She wants to get him back to work and California back to normal. And so we choose those first responders and those everyday heroes who answer the call. I'm David Muir. Good night.